And those families that gathered here today say they not only feel disgusted, but feel betrayed by President Trump and those pro golfers who they say are rolling out the red carpet for the Saudi backed Live Golf Tournament this weekend. And what they're simply asking for is accountability. They came with their photos, stories, and outrage. How much money does it take to turn your back on your country? Relatives of those lost in the 9-11 attacks gathered about three miles from the Trump National Golf Club Bedminster on Friday, where a controversial golf tournament is now underway. Exciting, pumped, ready to go. Live Golf is a Saudi Arabia-funded golf tour, and the families here say they are disgusted that it's being hosted at the New Jersey golf course, just 50 miles away from ground zero. The country has long been accused of playing a role in the September 11th attacks. Recently declassified U.S. intelligence reports released by executive order signed by President Biden. They say prove it. These aren't our claims. They're the documents and the words of the FBI. Relatives zeroed in on President Trump, who has been praising the Saudis leading up to the weekend tournament, saying that he misled them when he met with 9-11 families in 2019. We now have the documents, thanks to President Biden. Simply, you lied to our face, and you've continued your comments as recently as yesterday in your ESPN interview. Well, nobody's gotten to the bottom of 9-11, unfortunately, and they should have. Is what he said Thursday, further angering the family, some of them who said they at one point supported him. Pro golfers who reportedly made millions for participating in the Live Series also came under fire. The utter disgusting stench of that blood money is sure to follow you all the rest of your days. For Brett Eagleson, whose father was killed in the South Tower and who is also founder of the group 9-11 Justice, says the accountability he wants is simple. I think an accomplishment and a win looks like that. It looks like the Saudis finally owning up to it and proving that we were, in fact, right 21 years later. And while the families say they will continue to fight for justice, they have no plans on protesting the tournament this weekend, which lasts through Sunday. They're going to find other ways of getting their message out there. In Bedminster, I'm Andrew Ramos, 611 News.